Hi guys, I received a request from my friends to do a video tutorial of Opti streaming software. I want to demonstrate to all of you on how to set up Opti broadcaster software in your computer and link it to your YouTube channel. Opti is an open source cross-platform streaming and recording program, so it is free. I like to use Opti because it is easy and it's a user-friendly, especially if I'm doing music or for my replay videos streaming. Here you go. If you still don't have OBS, open any internet browser available in your computer like Chrome, Safari, Opera, Brave, or Firefox. Then write on a search or navigation bar OBS Studio and hit enter. On the search result, you will see OBS Open Broadcaster Software. When you click that link, it will redirect you to their website where you can see different operating systems compatible for this software, like Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Then click the operating system of your computer and it will ask you where you want to save the software. So you have to remember where you save it because you have to locate it after when the software is already downloaded in your computer. When you scroll down the page of OBS, you can see its features and facts. Then locate the software where you saved it and run the exe file for Windows or DMG for Mac OS. When you finally install the software, open it. In my case, I already installed the OBS, so I only have to look at When you already open your OBS in the OBS Studio, you can see the Controls tab located at the right bottom part. I clear the sources in order for you to follow me clearly. Click Settings button where you can see the Settings panel. On the left side, click General, and on the right pane under General, you can change the language, theme color, output, Source alignment, snapping, projectors, and system tray. In the output panel, here you can see the streaming and recording settings. For the streaming, I set the video and audio to lower bitrate in order to refrain the buffering if you have a slow internet connection. Configure the video tab settings to 1280 by 720, which is the base and output scale. Now let's go to the stream tab and right-click the link and copy the page in order for you to paste it to the navigation bar of the internet browser. If you still not link your OBS to YouTube, follow this step. Click the Get Started button. It will redirect to another page for account verification. Just scroll and choose your country from the drop-down menu and click the radio button of Text Me the Verification Code. Enter your phone number and submit. Then, you will receive the code from your phone. Just follow the instruction of the message you received from your phone. Then you will successfully link your OBS to YouTube. Go back to OBS Studio and click Stream Link and you will redirect again to the YouTube Live Studio. Here, you can see the live control room where you can change your thumbnail, enter the title, description of the live video, click the Stream option and you can see the encoder setup. Also, you can explore and scroll down the other settings you can see on Live Studio. On the right side, you can find the live streaming checklist and under the chat settings where you can enable or disable the live chat and click Done. To the encoder setup and you can reveal the stream name key. The stream name key is the code you need for the OBS. Then copy the stream and, and reveal it and don't share this one to other people. Then paste the stream key to the off stream settings, then OK. In the off studio, you can set the cover photo or video. This one, it will appear while you are doing music streaming. The audience will hear the music and see the cover photo or video you set. Just watch the video and follow the instructions you can see on your screen.
I hope you follow the steps and see you on the next one. Please leave your comment if you still have some clarifications. Thank you. Bye.